to be part of this lecture. So check that whether you are able to get the sound or not. Anyway, volume. Okay. So am I audible now? Better? Thoda aur bada bhai. Okay. So in science and technology, I understand that volume should be high, right? Because people are scared of it. I mean, there are two category of people in science and technology. One is engineers and doctors. I mean, science background student. They are in full overconfidence, right? That they will crack it, no matter what it comes. And then there. Are is another side also like arts and commerce and they think that no, it, I could not master it in 9th and 10th, then how could I do it right now. But both of these category are a little bit mistaken because UPSC is not exploring, you know, that scientific area. They are basically exploring scientific temperament, right? And to display the scientific temperament, you need to understand what is going on in India at scientific front, right? And to understand what is going on in India and scientific, scientific front, you don't need to be a scientist, right? You just need to be well aware pers person, right? So I was advised because uh, just few minutes back, I had a meeting with ma'am and she suggested me to talk to the student so that we can create a kind of ecosystem environment where we can talk about the basic concept and the application, the other part, right? So this first class is not the class, it's a kind of interaction. We will interact with each other, rather I'll tell you how to deal with science and technology, right? What is the importance of it and how can we go about it, right? So the most important thing that we need to understand that this is very important and integral part of the preparation. I mean, anybody who is thinking that science and technology can be ignored, then it cannot be ignored. I'll tell you why. First of all, this is general science and technology. If I take prelims and mains together, and then in the both stages of the examination, that is in prelims and main, you will find it at both places. And you know that the first hurdle is prelims. And you also be knowing it, that clearing prelims is a tough job, right? Many people who are prepared for main, they write very good answer. But then problem is that they could not clear prelims many a time. I know many cases where prelims was not there in a first attempt, second attempt, third attempt, fourth attempt, person cleared prelims, mains interview and final selection, right? Prelims is very tricky, right? Why it is tricky and how it is tricky, we'll talk about in the coming lectures also, but it is tricky, right? And the whole scenario of prelims that you can crack, crack prelims if you are able to do around 45 question all correct. So 45 question all correct, you are above cut off. So in a less than 50 percent marks, you can clear prelims. But the problem is that people are having a struggle in that too. Many of the people you must be knowing, I know. And that person has secured a rank around 650, 700 something. And that same person is appearing for prelims for the next year, not able to clear the prelims. Selected one, I'm talking about the person who has already secured the seat in final result sheet. They are also not sure that they are able to get the prelims next year or not, right? So that is, that much trick it is. Now, 45 out of 100 is a tough job. And obviously, you cannot be that accurate enough that you hit on a 45 question, you get all 45 correct. Obviously, to get the 45 net correct, you have to hit around 70, 75 question, right? And then minus and everything deducted and 45, 44, maybe 46 and that category will come and then finally, we'll get selection. In this prelims examination, we know that 12 to 15 questions are coming from general science and technology, invariably. And for that, it's not a rocket science. 
you can simply get into the any past year question paper after 2011 because in 2011 prelim syllabus was changed and then you will realize that number of question is there in that range sometime it goes beyond 15 also never gone down 12 and the most important part that sometime it get integrated with environment so there are many questions where environment and science both are converged together you will find the same question in the question bank of science same question in the question bank of environment and then there is another area that is physical geography right so physical geography also there you will find some questions which are coming from scientific nature let's say i'll give you one example in geography you talk about a lot of things there is lis land information system gis geographical information system and one of the technology that we use over there is called gps gps is satellite navigation system and satellite navigation system is a part of space technology so integration of space technology with a certain section of geography is there right i mean it's not necessary that they will be asking question directly from that integration but that integration is there required in your understanding to read understand the question to select or eliminate options to get the things correct you get my point ups is not about that okay this much i have read and in that particular way i can crack this much of question you need need knowledge you need knowledge not only to crack question but you need knowledge to understand the question to understand the option to eliminate and select the possible options you get my point so i'm not getting into that i'll just stick to 12 to 15 question but if you add environment and physical geography part then you can add five seven question more so somewhere it is 20 to 25 i mean if you conduct a survey personally on the past year question paper and you just put two things together environment and science every year you will get 30 plus question hai na? environment and science environment may be sawal to aire 15 20 idhar 12 15 conservative figure i am taking so it's 30 question maybe plus 2 plus minus 2 but 30 question now why can't you ignore it let's say 15 question i'll talk about 15 only this area so many people think let's forget it so minus 15 that means you are playing with how many question 85 people are not able to get 45 question out of 100 and how can you think that you will be able to get 45 question out of 85 but simple is i mean the math is very simple and it's not like that out of 15 such question you have to make all 15 it's not like that first of all you need to be very professional when you are preparing right Sometime when we start our preparation, we have, you know, superhuman expectation from ourselves. 90% of students come to Delhi or anywhere with a superhuman expectation. Ki ab main gaya, ab bilkul. UPSC was waiting for me only. And now I have arrived. They don't come, they arrive. Right. So, <laughs> now I will do the thing, right. And then, let's say, I mean, I understand that maybe one subject will be your favorite. Let's say history is your favorite, geography is your favorite. And when you are going to, you know, solve the past year question paper or a question bank, then out of 50 question you are solving, you try to get 45 correct. 45 correct ho gaya, 40 correct ho gaya. Still you are wondering, thus kyun nahi hua? No, you are at a, above cutoff, right? You should think that I am above cutoff or not. In any practice, in anything, if you are getting 70% question done and 30% is still unknown to you, it's all fine. It's okay. Because prelims me top nahi karta. Prelims is a game just to, you know, get the authority to write the mains examination. That is why it is called main examination. In prelims, you fill the form. In mains, you receive a form. That is the difference. So, prelims is a kind of, you know, a screening process where UPC tell, that okay you want to write main examination i'll give you form of the main examination only when you clear the prelims it's a screening it should be taken like that only and for that you need to be very professional so that is one thing that 12 to 15 question will have it we'll talk about it don't worry obviously you won't be able to crack all 15 question out of the 15 but still 
everybody should manage to get at least 50 percent done if you are from science background to 70 percent 60 percent out of 15 if you are able to crack 7 8 it's all fine you are above cut off and if you are coming from humanity background and commerce background and you are getting out of 15 6 7 you are getting that is additional that is what you are getting i mean it's additional thing into the entire prelims examination so we try to develop such a strategy that keep us above the cutoff that's it right when it comes to main examination then paper 3 is having science and technology number of question would be anywhere between 3 to 5 very few question 3 to 5 because paper 3 has got lot many thing economy environment science disaster management internal security now the question may be 2, may be 1, may be 3, may be 5. UPSC has no prescribed number that this much question will be asked or this much will not be asked. There is nothing like that. The question is, even if UPSC ask one question from science and you are writing an examination, you cannot afford to lose that question. right? The moment you lose that question, either your rank will go down and rank to baad mein aega, chalo, wo to baat hi nahi You will be out of the list because the competition over there is very stiff. Anybody who's got selected in UPSC final list, they have done all 20 question in all the papers, right? Sometimes they write very good. I mean, out of 20 question, 10 question, they write very good, very nice. Five question, they write average. Three, two question, they rise below average. But they have th that much of information that they can write something in every question. If you don't have any knowledge about a particular thing, then obviously it's a deficiency. It is something which is deficient. And UPSC is known to surprise you. They will ask questions which are totally out of this world. 2013, men's syllabus was changed. Optional was reduced to one. GS was increased to four paper. And they started asking questions like anything. Around that time, they asked a question like, I mean, batsmen put silicon tape on the bat to get undue advantage. What is the principle behind it? Now you tell me, in which classroom we can teach around, I mean, about these kind of things. Obviously, ye classroom coverage ke bahar ki baat. it is about your, you know, awareness, whether you know it or not, and your scientific temperament. I meet many students. And they were like, sir, ye kya question tha? it was something that we never read anywhere. But I remember exactly there was one student and he was happy and he said, sir, oh, baki sare question okay. this question I had to struggle, but I wrote something. Then I said, what did you wrote? So, sir, I wrote that silicon is an insulator, non-conductor. So, when this wall will sneak with this, so it will not generate heat, the sensor will not catch it sound will not come out. He has written all the possibility on that. He is IPS by the way, right now. And definitely, I mean, obviously he was not having knowledge, but still the brain functioned over there, right? because the person is having some scientific knowledge about it and he is from non-science background, but he was able to got this. Now, there is another thing, that is one story, another story. Whosoever was writing the main examination, right? They are not cricketers. First of all, they cleared prelims and they are writing main. It means that they were not cricketer, they were not playing cricket, that is why they are in the main examination. So, kisko aata tha ye? Kisi ko nahi aata tha. Jab pure lot mein kisi ko nahi aara, to kuch bhi to likho. Phir to matter hota hai kuch bhi likho, because there is a comparative study, you know, comparison. If examiner is having 50 copy, ek to dikha kuch, who is very close to the, you know, the reason, to he will award marks. Theek hai, marks, aapko 20 mein se 10 nahi milenge, 4 to milenge, 5 to milenge. That will add on to the total number of marks, right? That is why no matter how hard you do your preparation, in GS also in the main examination, you are supposed to get around 50 percent marks only. And if you get 50% marks in all GS subjects, to aap to top kar jao. It means that game is average only. But the problem is to reach to that average point, we need to work 
extraordinarily and we work in a classroom we work beyond the classroom and the most important we work on a strategy also that how we can increase our ambit how can we increase our knowledge base so that maximum question maximum options that is there in my knowledge and then i'll choose 75 question i'll take my attempt on that and then the 75 question will take it take me above the cutoff list that is the entire thing so there is nothing to be get scared you need to get your strategy right moreover people sometimes think that okay science and technology paper 3 three question will manage it but if i tell you one thing that we are living in a scientific age is it right or wrong government is using all scientific tools to reach to the people matlab app se pahunch rahe hain ab to they are using apps to reach to the aadhar banwa diya aapka world biggest you know biometric digital data so if the government is running on the scientific tools and it tools how can you expect that with without any scientific temperament you can get into the government they are looking for the people who are having the scientific temperament because obviously the entire machinery is turning into i mean it enabled and digitally and technology enabled governance that is why the e governance has been added you get my point and that will reflect not only paper 3 it will reflect in paper 1 also in paper 1 there is geography in geography there was a question long back that juno mission that is going to jupiter how it can help to study i mean to know the things about the earth so earth can be studied with the help of juno mission how it is possible so one part is there in science right now the thing is that one person is knowing a lot about geography all good but then the person is also about juno mission a space mission then integration of both area can develop a very good answer right in paper 3 also there could be integration let's say recently in 2021 we we had something like surrogacy regulation act 2021 now surrogacy like regulation act 2021 if it is there in paper 3 then i'll consider it science and technology but the same act is there in paper 2 then it will be considered as polity isn't it this i mean last parliamentary session one bill was removed from the procedure and that bill name was dna technology regulation bill that bill was passed in lok sabha in Raj Sabha discussion was going on, there was a lot of controversy and it was removed. Government took it back. Ki hai, pass nahi karana. We'll come up with the new revamped bill. Now, all these things, it's about bill and act. It's a part of polity, but it is very much part of science also. Now, in paper 2 also, if they are asking about such bill, you have to write something scientific. Now, there is two ways. You know only polity, you write the answer. Obviously, answer click the attic. But you know the polity, you know the scientific part of it, and then you integrate both things, you create a multidisciplinary verticals in the answers. Then obviously examiner will like it more. number So that scientific temperament is not limited to the three question. It is a spread all through the GS area. In paper four, let's say recently I was taking class. And then somebody asked that, why can't we clone human being? Cloning is a chapter in biotechnology. We talk about that. We'll talk in the class also. But if cloning of human being is prohibited all over the world, what is the bioethics behind it? Right? So bioethics, you can find it. Because bioethics is a chapter of ethics. You study about it. But if I tell you that this is how we do cloning, this is a possibility of cloning, this is a problem of cloning, then bioethics and cloning, you must together, you can get a better answer. You get my point? So, lots many things are there, which is, you know, it is interwoven, it is encompassing with each other. UPSC has never told na, that paper 3 will have economy section, then science section. In the syllabus, is it written? Economy heading, science and technology heading, nothing is written. It's just a running text, point, 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 point. You have to find it. When we start, we will get to know that this is economy, 
this is science, this is environment. Similarly, it will never reflect in the question also. They have all a right to develop a question putting many things together in one question. In economy, you study one topic is there in the syllabus, you know that, use of advanced technology in agriculture. Hey, na? To kya advanced technology in agriculture? When we go and we'll cover the science and technology syllabus, so we'll talk about biotechnology and role in agriculture, nanotechnology, role in agriculture, robotics, role in agriculture, a space tech, role in agriculture, IT and communication, role in agriculture, nuclear technology, nuclear agriculture. So at least five area and in all five area will have some point related to agriculture. Out of this five area, biotech will have maximum coverage. Nanotech will have thick tha coverage because nano urea liquid, you know that. It's nano urea liquid integrated with what? It's a agriculture only. So now in science, in every chapter, we are talking about agriculture. Even if we talk about robotics, so there is one chapter and one section that is role of robot in agriculture system. Agro robots, we are going to discuss about it. So, by merging all the relevant area at one place, you can get the answer. Role of new technology in agriculture, how agricultural aspect can be improved by using the newer technology. They can ask in two ways, right? So, it is not about that how many questions you are able to correct it. It is about that how do you develop a kind of temperament and thought process where science is also included. One thing is very much clear. This country is not going to be run without science and technology. So, if it is not possible, then how can you think that UPSC will select and UPSC will create a format where science will not be required? Many people come to me and they say, they say Sir, what is the role of science? Why they are asking such question? Hame to government, hame to desh chalana hai na? To science ki zorot kya hai? To desh chalana mein to history ki bhi zorot nahi padni chahiye phir. Hai na? But if we know the history, then we know more about the country. If we know the culture, we know more about the country. We know the sounds, science, then we basically know that how science could play decisive role in the present time. Hey na? Abhi dekho, national quantum mission was started, right? Multi crore, and India became seventh country in the world to start national quantum mission, right? Now this is something that you study in current affairs, and then national quantum mission this much money, this is a ministry, this is a target, this is objectives. But for that you need to understand what is quantum computer, what is quantum technology, what could be the role of it, how the future will use this. Unless you understand the basics of the entire thing, how can you relate with national quantum mission? Mission is there, it means some importances are there and we have to relate with that. So, it is not like technology or science that we have studied in. 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, no, nothing like that. For UPSC preparation, no formula is required. Even if you go with the general science, UPSC ne agar kabhi likha, calcium carbonate, to UPSC CSO3 ni likhti. Wo kya likhti hai? Calcium carbonate in English. You get my point? Kabhi dikha do mujhe ek bhi question jaha pe likha ho CSO3. They don't ask. Iska matlab kya hai? They are not probing into your science. They are probing into your scientific temperament. Usko calcium carbonate CSU3 ni likhna. Right? Because UPC know that many people who are appearing there from history background, geography background, they might have forgot about it. So, what they are writing? They are writing calcium carbonate. Wo calcium carbonate likh raha hai. Wo force ke liye aisa nahi likh raha hai ki F is equal to MA. Wo F is, is equal to MA ko language mein likhega. Ki mass and acceleration then it will generate force so it is it's in language it means what no formula no equation nothing is required you just need to have the concept of it right now let's talk about this is what the coverage is but now syllabus if we talk about syllabus again i'll write general science and technology and the syllabus in prelims and main So, this is tricky part. In prelims syllabus, UPSC has written just one thing that is general science. If you look into the syllabus, just 
टू वर्ड हैज बिन रिटर्न जनरल साइंस दैट सेट उसके अलावा कुछ भी नहीं फिल्म का सिलेबस है भी बहुत छोटा बट इफ यू लुक इन टू द मेन सिलेबस देन यू विल फाइंड सम चैप्टर्स नेम आउट देर लेट से बायोटेक राइट सेकेंड नैनोटेक लेट से रोबोटिक्स इट्स रिटर्न देन देर इज स्पेस टेक देन फिफ्थ वन इज आई टी एंड कंप्यूटर्स IT and computers are there, not communication. Computers. These are the chapter which is written. ये chapters के नाम हैं उधर, right? Apart from this, UPSC has asked some question which is not mentioned. So there are some area. Let's say nuclear tech. So now nuclear technology is not written anywhere, but it's a technology. We have to cover it. Or let's say there is another one, defense tech. defense tech defense technology is not written anywhere but we have to cover it if you remember two years back upsc asked one question s400 air defense system and how it is best air defense system in the world it's a main syllabus main question so s400 is air defense system india acquired it from russia and in that question you have to prove it that it's a best air defense system in the world that india has got it right so it's not mentioned in syllabus but they have asked question from it because obviously national defense internal security we have to study about it so at least this much chapters are there that we need to cover in mains so mains looks fine mains is okay because we have these chapters and if we cover this chapter along with current affairs we are sorted i mean we will be able to do that right but what about prelims in prelims the word is just general science and general science normally people think general science is physics chemistry biology right perfect no problem with that but the problem is they don't ask question from there in the last 10 years if you go and scan all the question in the 10 12 years they have hardly asked four or five question from biology one or two question from physics and almost zero question from chemistry right and i'll tell you that four five question or six seven question they asked in biology that biology question came post covid covid ke baad aaya ki virus can in fact what is b cell what is t cell you get my point so the related to virus and immunity because after covid virus and immunity become very big thing so they started asking question from there and obviously it's a core biology or we can say like humanity only but then again general science i'll also suggest it's a biology physics and chemistry because you need some background to understand the thing that is being taught over here right now if they asking just few questions one or few of them then from where this general science questions are coming so general science questions are coming from this area you just scan it if you go look into the past year question paper you will realize that majority of the question in prelims are being asked from the syllabus which has been prescribed to main examination question from nanotech biotech space tech nuclear tech they are asking right so upsc has never told general science means physics chemistry biology this is what we thought है ना यूपीएससी ने तो नहीं लिखा उसको क्या जाना था लिखने में लिख देता फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री बायोलॉजी नेवर रिटर्न एंड एनी वे बाई नाउ यू आर बिकॉज यू हैव बिन टेकिंग क्लासेस ऑफ ऑप्शनल एंड अदर थिंग यू नो वन थिंग वेरी श्योर दैट व्हाट इज रिटर्न इन सिलेबस कैन गिव इट्स फुल मीनिंग द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ सिलेबस इज देर इन क्वेश्चन पेपर अनलेस यू लुक इन टू द पास्टर क्वेश्चन पेपर देन you won't be able to understand the syllabus fully we teachers take the clue from the question paper and then through question paper we understand what particular word means for upsc i mean upsc ne likh diya space tech to kya padhe usme b tech kar le hai na i mean we have to find the ambit uska boundary to dekhna padega and upsc is not saying boundary 
सो हाउ वी कैन डिसाइड द बाउंड्री बाई लुकिंग इन टू द क्वेश्चन पेपर कि चलो स्पेस टेक में अब तक कितने क्वेश्चन पूछे कहां कहां से पूछे एंड देन वी डिसाइडेड ओके दिस मच विल अंडरस्टैंड राइट सो इन दैट वे ओबियसली बायोलॉजी फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री इट्स अ बेसिक थिंग एनसीआर टी नाइन टेन इज सफिशियंट टू कवर इट पीपल डू इट विद एनसीआर टी नाइन टेन राइट एंड आई टेल यू दैट इन एनसीआर टी नाइन टेन वेन यू आर रीडिंग लेट से इफ यू हैव टाइम एन यू आर रीडिंग देन यू कैन मिनिमाइज योर लोड बाई एलिमिनेटिंग ऑल न्यूमेरिकल बनाना नहीं है एलिमिनेट ऑल फॉर्मूला एलिमिनेट ऑल केमिकल इक्वेजन राइट ओनली टेक्स्ट only text and especially those text which are linked to daily life examples you get my point daily life example there is no point memorizing any definition there is no point because by memorizing definition you can never crack a single question in prelims you must be knowing photosynthesis na sabko pata hoga and in childhood also we have talked about photosynthesis many people they might have you know memorized it photosynthesis is a process by which plant takes carbon dioxide and water from the environment in the presence of light and chlorophyll it converts into starch and oxygen is liberated as by product right that is what we talk about 5 6 years back upsc asked one question which of the following statement is true correct regarding photosynthesis ab jaise dekha sab uchal gaye ki ye to banega hi ऑप्शन में कुछ नहीं था जो जानते थे मुझे सारे ऑप्शन तो याद नहीं है लेकिन उसका सही आंसर था इट कन्वर्ट्स फ्री एनर्जी इनटू पोटेंशियल एनर्जी अब बताओ डेफिनेशन कहां काम आएगा द बिगेस्ट चैलेंज इन द प्रिलिम्स इज व्हाट क्वेश्चन इज डिसाइडेड बाय यूपीएससी आंसर इज ऑल्सो डिसाइडेड बाई यूपीएससी यू फिट इन दैट स्कीम राइट मेन्स तो फिर भी ठीक है Question is there from UPSC. You can show your creativity in men's answer because it's up to you. Prelims me to question bhi unka, answer bhi unka, and then you have to fit yourself into that. That is why the cutoff always goes below fifty only, forty four, forty five, because that's very difficult. So what they did, they merged two things together, biology and physics, or fir banaya. Bola ki photosynthesis sawal to puchi sakte hai. but i'll create a question where normal people normal student who have basically memorized something will not be able to get that right now the thing is that the same topic in prelims same topic in mains so how to master it how to go about it i mean this is important for all of you because whether you go with the class or not but if you know this you can make use of it right and the trick is the that any topic let's say any topic is there obviously the topic is of science and technology you split that topic into four part one is basic concept basic concepts that is the first thing second is application applications sectorial application third one is issues and the fourth one is india and world you have to create just four vertical just four right recently isro chief made a comment about a space station of india hai na to wo important ho gaya ab question to means mein pehle bhi aa chuka hai so let's say space station is important so how will you go about it fourth thing basic concept what is a space station right then second application what could be the application of it if a space station is there what kind of issue it can experience and what is the position of india in development of a space station and what is the position of other country of the world who have developed a space station if you get these four points from any article from any newspaper your thing is done so that you can apply on a topic at the micro level and you can apply at the macro level like a chapter as well pure chapter pe i'll give you one example i'll just create a vertical for you so that you can get something out of it let's say if i talk about something called robotics 
let us say because you must be knowing something about robotics, everybody know about it. So, robotics as a chapter must be divided into four part. The first is basic concept. So, basic concept is what? What is robot? That means definition of robot. But definition of robot is not for the memorization, for understanding. Okay, what is robot? You should be able to differentiate between machine and robot. All robots are machine, but all machines are not robot. So, what is the basic difference between the both? That we need to know. Memorize nahi karna hai. Pata hona chahi. Similarly, second is what is robotics? Robotics is considered to be multidisciplinary area. Why it is multidisciplinary? What it requires to be a robotist, right? So, robot, robotics. Then we talk about robotic system. Robotic system, when I, when I say system, it means different part of robots. What are the different part of robot? A different part of robots means not BTEC level, obviously. We just divide into five parts end effector, manipulator, locomotion device, sensor, and controller, and just few lines about it. So that you know, if something coming like end effector word is being used in newspaper and magazine, you should not be, you know feeling alien about it, you know the parts of robots, so that you know, you are aware of the terms and terminology. After robotic system, we come to something called types of robots. Robots are divided at various bases. One of the bases of robot is according to the structure of the robot, that is called mechanical robot, which is there in industry. Then there is a human wired robot. An human wired robot is of two types androwired, male like, gynoid, female like. So, this term should be there with you. Na? I mean, knowing it is not a big deal. But while you are writing an answer and you word, you use a word, the Sophia is a gynoid robot. To wo show karta hai na, that you know something about it. And somebody is writing Sophia is a robot which is made as a female. But you are writing Sophia is a gynoid robot, which will look and sound better. Gynoid word, it is a technical word. I mean, examiner will say that it is not compare it to one number, it is 1.5 to mile. So that creates vocabulary. The problem is that when we study polity, we create a vocabulary of polity, geography, vocabulary of geography. History, there is another vocabulary. When it comes to science, then people are so neutral about it that we are using science and technology in our life, but we are always short of words, right terms to explain it. You get my point? And you know that how important is to know the right terms. If you know the right terms, then what will happen? In a limited word, you can convey more and that is what needed. So, that is one type of robot. There is another type of robot. Normally, we think robot can do any work better than human being. But it is not always true. And on that category, robot has been divided into two parts. Type 1 robot. Type 1 robot are those robot which can perform a work better than the human being. Like drilling robot, cutting robot. Robot can drill better than the human being because robot will not get distracted. If this is a metal piece and I just want to make a hole in between it, just in the center. So, robot every time will measure it, robot sensor will measure it and it will do right onto the center. Accuracy in that kind of work will be 99.9 percent .9 by robot. But it is proven that any super trained human being can show and give the accuracy of 80 percent, not more, not more than that. Insan ko bolo ke to wo thik hai karega. After three days, wo kahega ke ab to nishana laga ke kar sakta hoon. I am trained enough. Distraction will work on human being. Right? Mood ke upar depend karta hai. So, in that category, that is called industrial robot. Industrial robot can work better than human being. That is why industry is accepting robots. But then there is a type 2 robot. Type 2 robot are those robots that we use. But they are not better than human being. I will give you an example. 
if we have to explore moon surface. So, what should we use? Robotic rover or human being? Robotic rover use karna chahi. Why kiya bhi humne? Uska naam pragyan tha. That was robotic rover only. Because we know the risk of life is there. Second, Chandyaan 2 to fail ho gaya tha na mara. Imagine a situation when human being was there. But now, now you tell me, if we really want to study the moon's surface properly, who will do better study? Human being or robot? Human being. Robot will do only those things that instrument and sensor has been placed inside. Right? Us pragyan mein ek LISA karke instrument tha, usi ne elements ko dhundne. And the biggest achievement of pragyan is that it discovered sulfur. Sulfur dhund liya. Kyunki was utna pehchan sakta tha. Imagine a situation ki sulfur dhund raha hai, silica dhund raha hai, aur usi ke bagal mein diamond pada hua hai. But robot is not having any sensor, any pre-written command to look into that. But human being can use intelligence. If you have to go and study about volcanic crater, volcanic crater mein human being nahi jana chahiye. But robot bhejte hain. But who will do better study? Human beings. So whenever it comes to a study analysis, human being. Whenever it comes to mechanical work, then it is robot. So that differentiation should be there. On that basis, basically, we differentiate robot and the labor. Ap economics mein padte na? Skilled labor, non-skilled labor. So, robot is good for non-skilled labor work. A skill labor where skill is required, that human being will do the thing better. Car ki designing robot nahi kar sakta. Hum karenge. Chalo, ab AI yaar hai. AI can do it. Lekin aap is baat ko, we'll discuss it. That AI is coming. It is taking care of many things that usually human being used to do. So, it is not that skill is not going to be skill is scale up. Do you get my point? This is the basic skill is not going to be done. So, it will be done. You get my point? So, that is how it is shifting, and that is inevitable, that is bound to happen. So, that is also in types of robot only. And then, at the last, we talk about laws of robotics. There is something called laws of robotics. And laws of robotics prohibit us to use robot in defense sector. I mean laws of robotics says simple one thing that robot should not kill the human being. There is a very famous story writer, fiction writer whose name is Asimo. You might have heard the name. Asimo has given this law of robotics and law of robotics is nothing but the ethical laws given by it. That is a part of ethics also. So, all these things are basic concept. Basic concept ka matlab hai ki that you should know. Once you know it, then you can go to this. Now, the second area, application in robotics. For that, you have to read the newspaper, magazine and look into the world scenario which is there around us. Then we realize that all over the world, robots are being used maximum in industry. Right? So, at number one, industry. I mean, it's there. And for that data is there, we'll go with the data only. And data will come from, there is an organization called International Federation of Robotics, IFR. And if you look into the IFR data, China is world leader in industrial robot adaptation. In last year, China installed maximum industrial robot in a country-wise ranking, around 2,60,000 robot. India has installed around 5000 robot. So, that study need to be done. And India 5000 means it is progressively going up. There was 32,000, 3200, then it was around 4000, now it is 5000. So, industry is the area. So, industry is the area, then the question is why, what are the benefit, right? Why industry are so open to accept robot? And obviously, when industry is so open to accept the robot, then it will lead to economical issue, issue with the economics. Unemployment is okay, but unemployment is not going to happen in the UPSC. My son is studying in Earth, he was telling me that if the robots will be there, then it will lead to unemployment. So, if an Earth class student can tell, you are supposed to tell something else, right? So, linear is, economics is. 
unemployment will lead to devaluation of labor, devaluation of labor will lead to decrease in purchasing power, decrease of purchasing power will lead to what? Economic slowdown, it is cascading effect, we have to calculate, we have to integrate economics over here. Or ek baat hai. Main abhi bata deta ki agar kabhi robotics koi sawal aaya, chances are very high it will be not of robotics, it will be of economics. Last question which robotics se jo aaya tha, last question jo aaya tha, abhi tak ek hi question aaya mains mein. Aur wo question ye tha, main bata deta hu, use of robot in prohibitive labor, right? Use of robot in prohibitive labor. A prohibitive labor, Many people who are writing main examination, they got to know about this term first time in their life. And I will tell you that whether you write prelims or mains, there will be many terms that you will see first time in your life. No matter how many days you have stayed in Karol Bagh, Rajendra Nagar and how many classes you have done. UPC is way above everything. Lekin wahi pe hai? I mean, people manage to write it. Prohibitive labor means labor which is prohibited to human being. In robotics, there is a concept and the concept of 3D. Many scientists suggested that robots should be used along with the human being in 3Ds, dull, dirty and dangerous work. Dull work, dirty work, dangerous work. Dull work are non-skilled work. Human being is basically, you know, having a screwdriver and from 9 to 5, the human being is basically driving a screw, hammering onto the metal, drilling something. It is non-skilled work. And in India, if any non-skilled worker is there, it is not good for us. Human brain is creative. You say that you get employment. Okay, employment is But if you look at the bigger picture, why they are in non-skilled work? Because they are not educated enough. They are not trained. Why they are not trained? Because our government's plan and policy could not reach to them. And you know that in economics it is well said that if you do not have any skill, if you are a non-skilled worker, then your employment is not guaranteed. I can't fire my driver. I can't fire my driver today, I have driven my car. And I am really, his head is hurt. And I am really hoping that it will be fine tomorrow. Although I can drive, but now three classes are here, there, I have to move around. Right? लेकिन अगर घर में कोई जो डस्टिंग करने वाले लोग होते हैं ना अगर मुझे थोड़ा भी लगा कि ही इज नॉट डूइंग गुड सी इज नॉट डूइंग गुड आई विल फायर बिकॉज़ आई विल गेट अनदर वन ड्राइवर में फिर भी दो दिन टाइम लगेगा डस्टिंग में तो एक दिन भी लगेगा एक घंटे नहीं लगेंगे यू गेट मी पॉइंट सो नॉन स्किल्ड वर्कर का तो ऐसे भी इकोनॉमिक्स में कोई स्कोप नहीं है हम लोग पढ़ते हैं ना हम लोग बहुत सारी बातें कर रहे हैं अभी कि दिस इन इंडिया अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इज गोइंग वेरी हाई तो यू आई मीन पीपल डोंट हैव proper concept of employment basically. Employment is demanding skill set and the population is employment ka skill set yaha pahuncha hua hai. Aur hum sab ka skill set ka hai? Yaha hai. To kaha se hoga employment? That is why the government of India is having a skill development program. Kausal Vikas Karikram. ITI made mission there are free me out. In 9th and 10th they started vocational training. Why? Because government knows that non-skilled worker will not have, robot will replace them. So, dull work, dirty work, the work which is not dignified for human being. In Delhi only, there is a robot which is being used to clean the sewer. That is called Bandicoot, developed by Andhra Pradesh company, Gen Robotics. So, Bandicoot is Indian robot. It is being used for the sewer cleanage. And you know that sewer cleanage all across India has killed many people. Dignity to chalo baat vi ke baat hai, wo to life threatening hai and undignified vi. So, dull, dirty and dangerous. Like I told you that volcanic eruption ho raha hai, wahan ja ke padna hai, crater ke andar jana hai, space exploration karna hai, put the robot. We are sending Gaganyaan and in the Gaganyaan we are sending Vyomitra robot first. Then we will send the human being. Gaganyaan is not just one go, it is three flights, first and second. So, in first and second, any of these two, we are going to use a robot. A robot name is Vyom Mitra, developed by ISRO. So, that we can study the impact of this human, I mean, flight to the space and impact onto the human body. Because this Vyom Mitra robot has got all the sensor inbuilt in the body, which can understand the gravitational 
pull, the pressure, all kind of a space radiation and everything and then human being will be sent. So, prohibitive labor, dull, dirty, dangerous and on that you have to construct the answer. Now, tell me, where is robotics? Where is science? Where is science? Science is not. If you go through the mains question of last 10 years and you segregate all science questions, you will hardly find that 20 percent questions are basically scientific. Just this time, the question was asked, Chandrayaan 3, it was scientific. Tha. And that can be asked because Chandrayaan 3, everybody, my father will tell at least 5, 6 point out of this question. Itna TV dekhe wo. So, you are the UPS aspirant. You must be knowing that how many parts are there, how many sensors are there, whatever you know. Otherwise, in science also, they are not asking science. They are asking its application, its issues and concern. Similarly, the second most important area is health. Health section. Robotic surgery, you have heard how much it is going on in India. Robotic surgery. And robotic surgery is also going on in the whole Now, at days, we are basically going up with the tele-robotic surgery. Tele-robotics means Medanta Gurgaon, doctor will be able to operate Medanta Lucknow. Hai na? To aise connect kar denge. And the doctor will be able to operate. Obviously, local doctor teams will be there. But there is no need to fly the doctor, fly the doctor from Delhi to Lucknow to operate one patient. Rather, doctor be there. And that is called Da Vinci Surgical System. It's a very famous one. If you search, you will find the diagram, photograph, everything. It's already being used. So, that is surgery, I mean health. Then third area is home, home environment. Robots are being used in home environment. Vacuum cleaning robot is there. And the price is around 15,000 to 25,000. It's not a big deal. People are buying it. And many such robots are there. Then very controversial area defense. Robots in defense technology, right? Then obviously, if we are talking about any technology and if we do not talk about agriculture, it will not be good. Robot in agriculture, right? So, all that area we need to identify, role in robot in disaster management, disaster management. So, these are the area, these are major area we have identified, there will be many minor area. And once we study the application, then we will realize that robot has got some big issues and concerns also. Economic, I told you. Then there is something called human robot coexistence. Human robot coexistence. It is a concern. It has got some positive thing, some negative thing. Obviously, human robot coexistence is a reality. It is going to be reality. Some way or other, we are also going to use human robot coexistence in our lifetime only. Now, what should be the extent of, extent of it? I mean, scientists and people, they have made robot very close to the human being. There are many robots where the physical difference between humans and robot has been minimized. Sophia is one of them. So, what kind of world it will create? That is something. So, these are the issues and concerns, economic aspect, human robot coexistence, health issue. Health is also a concern in that. And then we talk about India and robotics, development of robotics in India. So, here the topic is what? Development of robotics in India. And I will tell you because I am, there is one organization that is called CIR, Center for Artificial Intelligence and Robotics. This is government backed organization. It used to be part of DRDO. Now, it is independently working, autonomous body. But then it has done research only. Robotics is one such thing where the private company need to come in. Government is not going to And private company is going Because robotics is a multidisciplinary area which require a lot of investment to start it. So, IITians, they are capable enough, they are talented enough, they are flying from India, getting to the other country and they are world famous robotists nowadays. 
But when they are willing to work in India, no support was there. So, in 2014, AICRA was developed, All India Council for Robotics and Automation. And AICRA provide administrative, financial and collaborative support to these youngsters who are willing to do. And that is why now in India, there are dozens of robotic company which is functioning now. You got my point? So, we have to look into that. And then obviously, we have to compare with the world. International cooperation in robotics. That what kind of international cooperation we are having? Right? So, that is how we dissect the topic. You get my point? And I will tell you one more thing that if you look at the entire scenario, this basic concept is this basic concept is more about prelims, less about means. Right. So, when you read the basic concept at that time, you should remind yourself that prelims ka zada focus hai. So, understanding should be there, right? Proper one, not try to memorize things. When it comes to application, prelims and means equal. When it comes to issue and concern, it more toward means, less towards prelims. And this is again prelims and means equal. One topic will serve all purpose, right? And obviously, we can have such differentiation in every topic. Do topic chhod ke sab mein aisa differentiation kar sakte hain. Biotech mein nahi kar sakte because it's a big topic. But in biotech also, we'll do it at the chapter level. Jaise ki stem cell. So stem cell basic concept. All the what's will be explained over there. What is a stem cell? What is the role of a stem cell? What are the different types of stem cell? So, this is a basic concept. Now, application. Application is a stem cell therapy. So, what is a stem cell therapy? What are the kind of disease that we can treat with the stem cell? How do we preserve the stem cell? What is a stem cell banking? What is cryopreservation? That we are going to get into the application. Then we will come to the issues and concerns. That what is the roadblocks? Why India is not doing so good in stem cell research? We are good at stem cell banking only. Why things are not progressing the way it should progress in India? And then we also talk about in laboratories, in organization and the world level achievements. Hai na? So, there we do it at the topic level. Anything topic level. Now, one question would come because now you know that we have to split the topic into basic concept, application, issues and concern, Indian world. A big topic ki where is current? Science and technology current will not make any sense to you unless you have read the topic. So for you, current is a news. And the news is what? It's a flow of information for you. It's a data and information. But once you know the entire ambit, ab robotics me kuchakar chapa. तो कहीं तो फिट कर लोगे इसमें इसी में कहीं फिट होगा ना इंडिया ने कोई स्टेप ले लिया तो फिट करोगे कहां पे अच्छा सी आई आर आई ए आई सी आर ए एक और आ गया जी डालो यहां पे दैट इज हाउ द करंट विल बी योर्स यू गेट मी पॉइंट अदरवाइज यू मेक अ कॉपी ऑफ करंट इवेंट्स सो यू आर नॉट मेकिंग कॉपी ऑफ करंट अफेयर्स यू आर मेकिंग करंट इवेंट्स और वो पूरा मामला हो जाता है याद करने का और याद करने में तो एकदम प्लेन एंड क्लियर में बोल रहा हूं याद किया हुआ नहीं आता नहीं आता सिंपल है किसी साल का क्वेश्चन उठा लो 20 क्वेश्चन आते याद किए हुए और वो सब बनाते हैं पूरा राजेंद्र नगर बनाता है उसको मैं उस 20 की बात कर रहा हूं जो लास्ट के 20 है उस लास्ट के 20 में से हमें 10 सही करने होते हैं बस उसमें दस गलत होता है क्योंकि वो कंफ्यूजन से बनते हैं ना उसके बारे में आपका आंसर ही नहीं पता इट्स योर हंच एंड योर बैकग्राउंड विल टेल कि ये सही हो सकता है आप एक बात बताओ ना आई विल बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट बिकॉज मैं अभी क्लास ले रहा था तो मैंने बोला भी कि इट्स नाउ इट्स अ सिक्सटींथ ईयर ऑफ माय लाइफ इन यूपीएससी टीचिंग तो मुझे निर्वाणा मिल चुका है मतलब मैंने अपनी लाइन खींच ली है कि अब हो गया अब अब जो ढंग से पढ़ रहा है पढ़ाओ नहीं तो पढ़ाने की जरूरत नहीं है तो आई एम ओपन विद माई यू नो ट्रेड सीक्रेट्स सीक्रेट ऑफ द ट्रेड में बता देता हूं आप एक बात बताओ नो बडी विल टेल यू वेन एवर द प्रिम्स विल 
हैपन कोई ऐसा ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है इंस्टीट्यूट है पूरे इंडिया में जिसने सारे क्वेश्चन सही एक बार मैं बता दिया हूं इंस्टीट्यूट के वर्ष की बात नहीं है आप सोच लो और 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 अब तो वो भी आने लगा अब तो मैंने देखा एक बार एक इंस्टीट्यूट ने क्लेम किया कि फॉर द सेकेंड आई मीन थर्ड टाइम कंसिक्यूटली वी हैव प्रोवाइडेड द मोस्ट एक्यूरेट आंसर शीट विथ ओनली थ्री एरर्स आप समझ रहे हो कलेक्टिव पूरा कंटेंट टीम बैठ के और वो तीन एरर के साथ आंसर रिलीज कर रहे हैं तो आप अपनी बात समझ लो हमारी बात समझ लो तो ये बीस क्वेश्चन जो लास्ट के होते हैं ना इट इज ऑलवेज कमिंग आउट ऑफ द कंफ्यूजन वॉट एवर यू रेड वॉट यू परसिव्ड बीस में से दस सही हो जाएगा दैट इज वाई एनी कैंडिडेट हु गिवस द फिल्मस वो फिल्मस तो तीन घंटे देता है लेकिन उसके बाद तीन दिन तक वो आंसर ढूंढता है क्योंकि उसको पता है कि ये दिस आर द फाइव क्वेश्चन विल बी डिसाइड माय फेट एंड फॉर दैट ही विल गो टू दैट इंस्टीट्यूट दैट दिस इंस्टीट्यूट इस इंस्टीट्यूट के हिसाब से ये हो रहा है उसके हिसाब से वो हो रहा है एंड फाइनली यूपीएससी कम अपन सो वो फैक्ट नहीं बनता यूपीएससी इज नॉट अबाउट फैक्ट ट्वेंटी परसेंट फैक्ट एंड इंफॉर्मेशन दर इज अ वेरी सिंपल थिंग इन यूपीएससी प्रिपरेशन I mean, yesterday I was in Hyderabad and I was taking classes over there. So somebody asked us, "Sir, what it takes to clear UPSC?" Then I said that it takes wisdom. You need to have wisdom for that. The question is how to generate wisdom. That is that is that cannot be generated by teachers and student interaction. Teacher can only show you the way, path. But wisdom is very subjective thing. Your wisdom is yours. His is his. Her is her. सो so, विजडम तक पहुंचते कैसे वो बता सकता हूं मैं वी स्टार्ट विद फैक्ट एंड नॉलेज द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट इज वॉट फैक्ट एंड नॉलेज यू नो दैट वेन एवर अ टीचर कम्स दे टॉक अबाउट आई ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट इन इंडिया सर कैसे स्टार्ट इन टू थाउजेंड टू देन दिस ईयर द डेट ईयर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सेम एंड ऑल दिस इज वॉट इट्स अ फैक्ट एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन बिकॉज फैक्ट एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन इज अ टूल टू ट्रांसफर द नॉलेज राइट so fact and information that lead to knowledge and if you assimilate knowledge in yours brain if you apply it properly then it is called wisdom application of knowledge is very important and there upsc is not i mean willing to get the knowledge out of you they are looking for wisdom fact and knowledge se kya nikla ye jitne one day wale exam hote hai na jitne one day wale bank po ssc ये फैक्ट एंड नॉलेज से निकल फैक्ट एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन से निकलता है फैक्ट एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑल दो देव मैथ्स एंड ऑल टू टेस्ट द आई क्यू लेवल बट फॉर उनका जीएस पेपर देख लो आप उनका जीएस ऐसा होता है कि मिल्क इज येलो इन कलर वाई आई मीन इट्स इन्फॉर्मेशन यू नो इट और यू डोंट यानी येलो कलर ऑफ मिल्क इज ड्यू टू विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पिगमेंट वो वाला उनका होता है दैट इज फैक्ट एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन राइट If you have cracked, or if you appeared for NEET examination or IIT examination, then they basically look for fact, information, and knowledge. But UPSC will look for what? Wisdom. Now I'll tell you one example of it. The fact is, the fact is that's a botany fact. Botany me likha hua hai ki anything which contains seed inside is fruit. That is the definition of fruit. Fruit is a ripened ovary which contains seed inside. Let's say apple is fruit, seed inside. Banana is fruit because seed hota hai banana me. Ab humne uska variety banana liya seedless. For that matter, tomato is also fruit because it has got seed inside. Lauki is also fruit because it has got seed inside. Brinjal is also fruit because it has got seed inside. It's a knowledge. So one fact has directed towards a knowledge when you realized. that according to science this lauki brinjal tomato these all are fruits along with this mango lychee and watermelon that is fine you are getting the right information and you are converting this information into the right kind of knowledge but wisdom is something else let's say if i come to your office after your selection and you tell me sir fruit salad mangwata hu aapke liye and in the ball you are having brinjal lauki 
एंड टोमेटो तो फिर भी चल जाएगा चलो लेडी फिंगर विद वन और टू पीसेस ऑफ मैंगो तो उसको क्या खाऊंगा मैं सो विजडम से इज दैट ओके इट्स फाइन एनी थिंग विच कंटेन सीड इन साइड इज फ्रूट बट विजडम इज दैट वेन यू आर मेकिंग फ्रूट सैलेड देन डोंट पुट दिस रॉ थिंग्स इन टू इट स्टिक टू द वॉटर मेलन पपाया मैंगो एंड अदर थिंग डोंट पुट ब्रिंजल इन टू दैट दैट इज वॉट विजडम इज यू गेट मी पॉइंट सो तो बात तो वही है फैक्ट एंड इंफॉर्मेशन दैट हैज गिवेन यू द नॉलेज एंड हाउ डू यू यूज नॉलेज इज द विजडम I'll tell you another reality that fact and information and knowledge. This is our interaction. This is about teacher and student, mentor and student basically. Teacher, तो हम लोग हैं नहीं. Teacher वो होते हैं जो primary school, secondary school, college में पढ़ाते हैं, right? Uh, we are professionals, right? In that way, if we talk, then it will be good, ना? मतलब आपको भी लगेगा कि service लेना है, है ना? So that is how we can do, like. up to knowledge we can talk about but wisdom is very subjective thing your wisdom is different from his wisdom and two persons wisdom can never be same and they are looking for us i mean a point a wisdom level ki itna level ka wisdom agar aa gaya to prelims pe itne question ban jayenge mains mein answer aise likh lenge intro bhi mains tarah se aap bol lenge and that is how the things goes on right anyway so this is what we are going to follow in all through and many people have a fear that whether this basic concepts will be there or not obviously we cannot go with the ncert teaching in the class because for that there is a lot of ncert courses which are available in the online sphere if anybody is having i mean having time and want to devote something for that you can go with the ncert online courses that you can avail from anywhere or you can read on your own but yes one thing is there wherever in this entire coverage some basic concept will be needed i'll explain that first and then we'll talk about it rather the lecture is planned in such a way that we start with very basic thing so that when we enter into the real discussion then you do not feel any short coming ki acha virus ki baat ho rahi hai and we don't know about the virus so we'll discuss it then we'll move on to that wherever it is required we'll talk about that inside तो मैं नॉर्मली मैं बोर्ड पे एक साइड में ऐसे कर देता हूं एंड देन आई से दिस इज बेसिक बायोलॉजी एंड देन लेट्स अप्लाई इट ओवर देयर आई मीन इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट वी कैन गो विद ईच एंड एवरीथिंग बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली एनसीआरटी पढ़ना फिर तो एक महीना उसमें भी लग जाएगा एंड दैट इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड इन दैट वे राइट सो लेट्स गो विद समथिंग आई मीन ऑब्वियसली दिस इज अबाउट स्ट्रैटेजी करेंट अफेयर्स को इसी में फिट करना है एनसीआरटी बुक चैनल साइंस के लिए इफ यू कैन डू इट गुड एनफ नॉट तो वी कैन गिव इथ द क्लास ऑल्सो सेकेंड थिंग देर इज नो बुक अवेलेबल फॉर द साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी बिकॉज ऑल द थिंग दैट यू गेट इन द मार्केट इज गाइड वो गाइड है बुक नहीं है बुक हो भी नहीं सकता एंड गाइड्स आर नॉट यूजफुल बिकॉज गाइड्स इज ऑलरेडी वन ईयर ओल्ड मार्केट में प्रिंट होकर रखा है तो एक साल पुराना तो पहले ही से और आप एक साल बाद एग्जामिनेशन दोगे तो योर गाइड विल बिकम ऑलमोस्ट टू एंड more year old by the time you are giving examination so that is not having any current thing science and technology is driven by current affairs current affair background mein chal raha hota hai and current affair is something else there is something called current and the current has got context upsc ask question from context not current face value pe question hi poochta hai very rarely ab chandrayaan 3 pooch diya seedha seedha utha ke because it's a big event otherwise you have to keep eye on the small things and then the small thing will indicate towards something which is fundamental they ask question about fundamental an example you can see very clearly that india started national quantum mission and there was another nmqta national mission on quantum technology and application in 2021 and first time for the first time pt explore quantum technology and the first question was what qubit is related to what quantum computer abhi tak to nahi pucha 2015 se main quantum computer padha raha hu and they never asked but last year only in 2022 prelims they asked first time matlab 7 saal ke baad pehla question usse aaya aur wo tha qubit qubit is very basic thing if you read about quantum computer in a first five four line you will 
come across the word qubit. But why did they ask this year only? Because India has already geared up for quantum technology development program. So, if the program is rolled out, money has been given. So, obviously, this topic has become important. So, they did not ask the program and you know the name of the program, who initiated, under which ministry, this nothing was asked. What they asked? One fundamental related to that program. Background se jake question pusha. So, that is it happens. India started cloning. In 2009, we got the first clone, right, in NDRI Karnal. And the question was that SCNT is related to what? SCNT is somatic cell nuclear transfer technology that is used in cloning. So, they are not, they are not asking that which one is the clone, first clone animal of India, where cloning is done in India, what is the purpose of cloning? What they are asking is the basic concept. Current se uthaya. So, that is why guide is not something that will be very useful. Obviously, if you want to have it, you can keep it one, right. So, let us talk about and uh, we will start something today so that we can have uh, some information about it. And the first topic that we are going to discuss is biotech because this is the biggest topic. In this way, you will understand that how the things need to be done. Biotech, right? So, biotech, there is a word called bio and that bio word comes from biology. So, we need to have something related to biology also, some basic background of it. And biology in a most common term is nothing but study of life or study of living beings. That is what we call, this is the definition is, I mean life is okay fine, but life says other body term concept, living. Because whenever, I mean if somebody asks, okay study of life, what is life? So, what is life is a question that we all are basically looking for the answer. Anna? So, better to shift our focus on living beings. Now, the question is what are living beings? What are the characteristics of living beings? Very basic, sixth class mein padha tha apne. We are going to revisit the sixth class with some different perspective. So, living being and characteristics. characteristics. Now, you can tell me, agar aapko kuch yaad ho to batai, growth or kuch, movement growth, yes, reproduction, very good, ah, hai. yes, lot many things are there, but the first thing that we put in it reproduction and reproduction become, I mean according to popular belief, it is reproduction that can differentiate between living and non-living. I mean, if reproduction is there, it is living. If it is not there, then we have, we can have doubt. That is the first thing. Why it is there? We will talk about it. Second one is cell structure. No life can be possible without cell. Every life form is made up of cell. Whether it is bacteria or human being, it is made up of cell. Third, like you were saying that growth, movement, breathing, digestion, all these things collectively known as metabolism, what we call it? Metabolism, right? That can be collectively known as metabolism. And the last thing that we can go is adaptation. Adaptation, let us keep it four only and we will try to understand. These are the characteristic of living beings, reproduction, cell structure, metabolism, adaptation, right? Now, metabolism is something, it is not like that life has no definition, life has got definition in biology also life, there is a definition of life. You know that life originated chemically, I mean there is a question that how life originated, it is a chemical origin, life originated from chemical and our life is due to the chemical process which is going on in our body and all the chemical process put together is known as 
metabolism. So life is nothing but the total sum of chemical reaction that is going inside the body. And because this chemical reaction is go going inside the body, that is why it is called biochemical reaction. What we call it? Biochemical reaction. That is life. So this metabolism can also be known as, it is also known as biochemical reaction. It is called biochemical reaction. So metabolism is biochemical reaction. No matter what you do and what is happening in your body, it is all biochemical reaction. Even muscular movement is physiochemical reaction. It is a biochemical reaction. Muscle movement may be ions involved. Right? And that is how the muscle is basically relaxing and contracting. Because there is a chemical reaction going on. When you think it is a chemical reaction inside, neurons are engaged in chemical reaction. Digestion is purely chemical reaction. Enzymes are working on that. We study that a starch will be digested into glucose. Glucose go, get inside the cell, glucose breaks down into carbon dioxide and water and energy comes out. It is again what? It is a chemical reaction. We eat protein, the protein get digested, it forms amino acid, amino acid release ammonia, ammonia get converted into urea, urea get eliminated from the body. Again it is what? Chemical reaction. So this all chemical reaction which is occurring inside the body is known as metabolism. We breathe air. Air has got 21 percent oxygen. Hemoglobin react with oxygen. It makes oxyhemoglobin. Then this is spread all through the body and then oxidation of glucose occur. This is again chemical reaction. So all the chemical reaction put together, that is called metabolism. And let me tell you one thing that if you want to do, I mean you can imagine that how many chemical reactions are going on in one body, in one cell. Hundreds of chemical reactions are going on simultaneously. If I tell you that every one of us are going to do some chemical reaction, then obviously we will enter into the lab. In the lab, every one of us will secure some test tube, beaker, flask and then we will put the chemicals. It is not like that we are going to put all the chemicals at one place. Because 100 types of chemical reaction need to be done. So, for that 100 setups are required and all setups should be separate so that we can give direction to the chemical reaction. What will happen if I put all the chemicals in one particular box, then what will happen? It will blast, it will give nothing. So, for different type of chemical reaction, different type of equipments are needed to separate them, to give direction, to get the product out of it. And cell is the setup. Cell is that setup. Cell is a setup where different type of biochemical reaction takes place. In a mitochondria, oxidation is going on, glucose is breaking down, energy is coming out. That is one setup. Ribosome is there. We will talk about that all. Jitna naam le rahun, sab hum padenge. Ribosome is something where protein synthesis is going on. Right? Golgi body is something where protein are getting stored converted into enzyme and hormones. ER is something where lipids are being made. You get my point? In one cell, we have different compartments and all these compartments are assigned with a particular type of chemical reactions to carry out. That is why they are not mixing with each other. That is why we say, we say that no cell, no metabolism. Like the way if you want to do a chemical reaction, then for that chemical reaction, you need a laboratory and the equipment. Similarly, if the life is metabolism and biochemical reaction, then obviously we need a setup to carry out this metabolism. A setup would be required. And what is that setup? Cell is that setup. No cell, no metabolism. As simple as this. And we will prove it. We will we'll talk about it. If cell is not there, metabolism will not be there. And if there is no metabolism, there is no life. Life is metabolic activity. Now, you tell me one thing. Chemical reactions are occurring inside the cell and chemical reactions fairly of two types. There are certain chemical reactions which can give rise to product. Constructive reaction. Kaisakte? Reaction which constructs something. And construct something means what? Matter? material, product, 
will come up and there are destructive chemical reaction where we break down something energy will come out petrol ka breakdown karte hain ye petrol jo hum jalate hain gaadi mein it's again chemical reaction you oxidize petrol you break petrol into water and carbon dioxide and when you break something energy will come out right that is called combustion but combustion is basically what oxidation of petrol in chemical it is oxidation so in our body also there are two thing construction that leads to matter that leads to matter matter could be protein it could be lipid it could be anything else and there is something called destructive reaction destructive is not destructing us it is just breakdown reaction and breakdown reaction will lead to energy you got my point now you imagine this metabolism is going on in a cell right and metabolism is going on in a full phase in a full flow good metabolism metabolic activity is going on lots of breakdown is going on lots of construction is going on so cell will have what lots of matter and lots of energy in this universe everything is made up of matter and energy right even our body is made up of what matter and energy this biomass is matter and the sound which is coming out it is because of the energy if cell i mean if i say that i am also made up of matter and energy so i am made up of basically cells so cells are also made up of what matter and energy and in cell matter and energy is surplus so cell will divide because cell will not be able to handle that much matter and that much energy so cell will divide and the moment cell divides it will be known as reproduction so this is linked to this this is linked to this you got my point now you see why scientist has suggested that you should take reproduction at the very first place is just because reproduction will occur only when cell will divide cell will divide only when the cell will have surplus energy surplus matter surplus matter and surplus energy will come only when the metabolic activity is going on in a proper way so now 1 2 3 is not different it is same i mean it's about cell how can it be different sab ek hi cheez hai lagbhag it's just a way to explain it at the core it metabolism no metabolism no life no cell no metabolism if metabolism is not there obviously reproduction will not be there because life is not there that is the thing now adaptation is something else adaptation is parallelly something else adaptation is that living organism has a very unique feature that according to changing environment they can make changes in themselves and that is why we have survived all through the year and i'll tell you that adaptation can be of two types short term and long term short term means that change is temporary just to save from some harm effect and it can be corrected back let's say if you go and stand in the sunlight for 2 hours so what happens tanning happen tanning is short term adaptation it is adaptation short term because in sunlight there is ultraviolet radiation ultraviolet radiation can damage your skin it can cause skin cancer and to fight with ultraviolet radiations damaging effect body has its own adaptation mechanism that is called melanin melanin will spread it will come closer to the earth, i mean uh, skin surface and then what will happen the impact of ultraviolet radiation will be minimized you might have seen experience the people who are very very fair they have allergy to sun rays wo sahi bol rahe hain bechare aisa nahi ki unka wo swag hai aisa nahi it's i know i mean hote na family mein koi bahut fair hai mera chhota bhai wo bahut fair hai and he go out in the sun he get you know rashes yahan red yahan red yahan red in the sunlight he he it doesn't look white he look i mean pinkish ya phir aap dekho na metro mein kabhi chale jao aap kabhi aur if you come across any european samajhe wo dur se acche lagte i mean distance is there then ठीक है हम लोग तो ऐसे ही है ना कि थोड़ा यूरोप 
या कहीं के भी बाहर के लोगों को देखते हैं तो थोड़ा सा एक बार देख लेते हैं कि हाँ भाई यूरोप से आया गेस्ट है अरे गेस्ट के रूपों में देखते हैं बट इफ दे कम क्लोज टू यू यू विल रियलाइज कि पूरे फेस पे क्या है डॉट 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 बने हुए वो इधर आके हुआ है उनको बिकॉज आई मीन आई मीन एंड फॉर दैट रीजन आई टेल यू दैट इन यूरोप एंड अब आई मीन सब आर्कटिक एरिया जो है ना देर स्किन कैंसर इज अ प्रॉब्लम वहां का कैंसर का मैनेज क्या है स्किन कैंसर हमारे यहां नहीं स्किन कैंसर की बात हम कहा करते हैं वी टॉक अबाउट लंग कैंसर ओरल कैंसर एंड स्किन कैंसर नहीं वाई बिकॉज इन देयर बॉडी मेलानिन इज वेरी लेस इन आर बॉडी मेलानिन इज फेयरली गुड एंड इफ यू गो आउट इन द सन मेलानिन विल इंक्रीज इट इज टू प्रोटेक्ट यू इट्स शॉर्ट टर्म एडेप्टेशन इफ यू कम बैक होम स्टे इन डोर फॉर टू डेज यू विल गेट बैक टू द नॉर्मल कलर but now if you look at the indian population from kashmir to kanyakumari if you travel down that you will realize that as we travel down towards sa- south you will find the complexion is getting darker and darker that is long term adaptation because as you go closer to the equator the sun rays will be stronger ultraviolet radiation will be higher and that is how genetics work that is how biology work they have made this changes permanently in them that is now ingrained in the dna and they are having darker complexion if you look at the equator i mean pure globe me equator ke paas chale jao aap an original inhabitant of equatorial region they are essentially darker in complexion that's the biology although human being have migrated all over the world now but still you will find there are people who are living they are the native people the native people are essentially darker in complexion if they are living around equator right native people in sub arctic region they are very fair because there the sunlight is oblique ultraviolet radiation is less and they are not having that exposure to it that is what it's a long term adaptation so this can be adaptation can be short term short term and it could be long term and long term adaptation we call it evolution what we call it evolution so that is also living ab batao isme kya samajhna hai it's a easy one i mean you know that characteristic of life reproduction why reproduction because cell has got lot of matter and energy could not handle so one cell divided into two so that it can be divided why did this cell get this lots of energy and matter because of the metabolism going on in the cell so all three things are together and then it is also linked with that in the coming time we'll discuss about it now we have studied about it let's talk about one thing more there is something which is called connecting link between living and non living and this is virus what is that virus now you know that virus is very important because of the covid and we have to talk about baat to karni padegi but virus is con- connecting link between living and non living i mean virus is the only entity biologically present on this earth where you cannot be sure when it is living when it is non living that is why scientists have said that let's put it as a connecting link that means at the same time it is living and non living so why it is living that we'll talk about it so they are living because they can reproduce reproduction is there that is why they are living and they are non living because they don't have cell no cell structure and if there is no cell structure there is no metabolism so if cell structure and metabolism is not there how can you say that it is living so only thing which makes virus living that it has ability to reproduce but they reproduce only when they are present inside the cell when they are present in the inside the living if the virus is present on this table then this virus is non living it's like a dust particle it will degrade it will degrade like any chemical 
it's non living but when this virus get into my body your body then this virus will act like living organism you know that virus don't have cell and if you look at the virus structure let's say i'm making a virus structure virus is like this the most common diagram that you have seen of virus in a newspaper magazine everywhere they make it like this right dekha hoga na is tarah and then this is something it has got nahi dekha koi baat right so what is there this green part all green part it is made up of protein and this part is dna or rna it is either dna or rna cell doesn't look like this right matlab jo bhi cell ke bare mein yaad hai aap yaad karo cell mein jo bhi yaad aa raha hai aisa to nahi tha cell used to have plasma membrane there was nucleus there was mitochondria there was cytoplasm cell organs were there it organized a structure this is nothing it's a capsule like a structure the capsule is made up of protein and inside the capsule you have either dna or rna that's it whereas when we talked about cell agar cell ki baat kare to cell has got everything cell has got this nucleus in nucleus there is a lot of dna dna is there then there is a cytoplasm and in cytoplasm mitochondria golgi body endoplasmic reticulum everything was there so cell is something that we have studied we know that we'll talk about it but at least at this point when we are focusing on virus we can say that virus doesn't look like a cell it is no cell ye cell nahi hai then how does virus manage to reproduce so virus is like terrorist they don't have cell right they don't have any setup of their own like a terrorist who, which is coming in india terrorist don't have any house we have house right house is a kind of cell you know in the cell also you have a control center that is called nucleus power house that is called mitochondria kitchen that is something else so like our house has got different compartment and rooms for the different function the cell has got the same structure in cell different compartments are there to perform different function that is called metabolic activity in house we also do the different function in the house so that our life is easy right whether you are staying in delhi or not you have a house you know you are connected to that but a terrorist who is coming to india is not having any house all terrorist is having i mean terrorist is having just one thing that is ak47 ek hi cheez hai uske paas ya rdx hai ak47 sounds good so terrorist with ak47 they sneak inside india and they roam around the moment they look at any house which is open where security is less they enter into the house the moment they enter into the house they take out the ak47 and they show it to the family member that this is ak47 and now this house is under my command right ak47 is fairly around 45 kg loha iron in house you have 200 kg of loha but that loha is not equal to ak47 in terms of mortality hai na matlab hamare ghar mein 45 kg loha thode na hota hai usse zyada hi hota hai cylinder hi hai kam se kam 20 kg ka hai na <laughs> with a stove it will be around 30 kg sare utensils steel ke bartan bartan sab mila do to 200 kg tak to pahunch hi jayega so we do have i mean now this is terrorist and terrorist has got this dna this dna is ak47 terrorist ka dna kya hai ak47 and we do have dna we have more dna but our dna is not that powerful as compared to virus dna that's the problem so virus they enter into the cell they take out the dna and this dna is so dangerous that it take command over our cell mechanism अब सोचो टेररिस्ट इज देयर इन हाउस विद ए के फोर्टी सेवन सो डेफिनेटली नाउ टेररिस्ट विल हाईजेक द हाउस सिस्टम नाउ टेररिस्ट इज सेइंग दैट नाउ दिस हाउस इज अंडर माय कमांड यू ऑल विल बी सर्विंग मी एंड वी हैव नो अदर ऑप्शन बिकॉज वी डोंट हैव एनी डिफेंस मैकेनिज्म अगेंस्ट दिस ए के फोर्टी सेवन वी डू हैव लॉट ऑफ स्टील बट नॉट एज डेंजरस 
or as good as the AK-47 in that way. Now terrorist will start giving you command. You are pure vegetarian, but terrorist will tell you that today I will have chicken. You said, no sir, I do not cook chicken. Ab scope nahi hai. Ab de aoge chicken, banaoge, khilaoge. That means metabolic activity is being commanded by virus. If there is one AC or two AC in the entire house, terrorist kaega ki mai soonga idhar. You manage with the other thing. So earlier energy was distributed in the house, but now the entire energy will go to what? Terrorist. So when the moment this virus enter into the cell, cell own command is I mean recessive, it get basically dormant and this virus's command and virus's DNA take over the entire process. Ab socho, cell is mine, but my cell is under command of what? Terrorist or virus. So virus is making the protein and the material of its own kind. Virus is utilizing the energy for its own growth. Cell is mine, but it is under control of virus. So now you say that this terrorist or this virus, which has no cell structure, now it has cell structure. It is hijacked cell. The cell which has been hijacked, it is there. And if the cell has been hijacked, then it is having metabolic activity also. And if cell is there, metabolic activity is there, then now the matter and energy that will be produced by the cell, it is not for the cell, it is for the virus. So one virus will enter, 10 will come out. It will multiply and that multiplication is known as what? Reproduction. You get my point? So if you ever want to understand how this virus is functioning in the body, it is the same thing. Now if the virus is lying over here, virus has no access to the cell. If virus is having no access to the cell, then it is no problem. It will degrade, it will chemically degrade, it is just a piece of chemical, particle of chemical. But when this virus gets inside the body and manage to get inside the cell, then it becomes active, it is living. You get my point? So you can write one point. And the first point you can write, I mean the first point is about terrorist only, that is another way. You can write, viruses, virus, virus enters cell, enters cell and, hi, and hijack, and hijack, hijacks cellular mechanism, cellular mechanism, hijack cellular mechanism. Now, the cell is under control of cell is under control of virus DNA or RNA, virus DNA and RNA. All the matter and energy, all the matter and energy produced by the cell, produced by the cell are being utilized by virus, are being utilized by virus and, and the virus multiply and virus multiplies inside the cell, multiplies inside the cell that can be considered as reproduction, that can be considered as reproduction, right. Now let us talk about something like types of virus. So the first thing is on the basis of target, infection target kya uska. In that way virus can be animal virus, animal virus, 
animal virus is not animal virus, it is a virus which infect animal cells. So, this will infect what? Animal cell. So, that is why the word animal has been added before virus. Second one is plant virus. So, virus is not plant, rather it will infect plant cells. So, plant cells can also get infected by it. There is third one that is called bacteriophage, bacteriophage, it infects bacteria. Bacteria is another entity, virus is another and the virus which infect bacteria are known as bacteriophage. So, bacteriophage is virus which infect bacteria, you get my point? And the fourth one is mycophage mycophage, it infect fungi, you know fungi. So, virus can infect plant, it can infect animal, animal may humans be included, hai, hai na? it can infect bacteria, it can infect fungi, I mean all four life forms it can infect. Hai na? UPSC asked one question long back, our question ye tha ki viruses can infect which of the following and it was multi query question it was not multiple choice question multi query you understand three statement and again you have to choose correct one in a pair two is correct three is correct so the first was plant animal fungi and then it was one two and three only one and two only one and three only two and three so sometime very i mean surface level information can also be asked and we should be ready for that. So, that is how on the basis of target or infection, animal virus, plant virus, bacteriophage, mycophage. Yes, please. <clears throat> sustain. Virus never sustain outside the body. Ah, they, it will not sustain. In COVID time, it was there. Na? Matlab, COVID ka socho, kitna confusion tha COVID ka time. Koi bol raha ki virus, COVID virus on a surface can stay up to 72 hours. Us chakkar mein kitni chijo ko dhup mein sikhaya, sukhaya hamne. Amazon se aya, pada hua dhup mein char din tak. Koi chhu ni raha usko. Socho, agar wo 72 hours tak zinda rehta, to hamme se koi nahi basta aaj kiret. उस समय ये फियर था आज के डेट में क्या कहते हैं कि इफ टू पीपल नॉट हैविंग मास्क सिटिंग क्लोज टू इच अदर फॉर मोर देन 5 मिनट्स देन ओनली यू विल गेट इंफेक्टेड मतलब सरफेस से नहीं आ रहा या इट्स अ गुड हैबिट दैट यू यू सैनिटाइजर इट्स अ गुड हैबिट बट इफ सरफेस से अगर आ रहा होता ना तब तो मामला ही खत्म था बट इट वाज फियर फियर ऑफ अननोन राइट एंड अराउंड दैट टाइम पीपल what doing? I mean, dhup mein sukha rahe, sabzi leke aare usko. Wo toh mainne bhi kiya hoa hai. Toh kaam hi kiya tha us mein. I mean, 24 hour look like, this is 24 hour. Matab, us time pe aisa laga. Ki 24 hour, big boss hi ho gaya tha. And the, in that big boss, you need to be at the receiving end only. Because big boss is somebody else in the house. हम तो प्लेयर थे वो भी अकेले तो मामला वो था और मेरे साथ तो एक कैसी दुर्घटना घटी ये जनता कर्फ्यू 22nd ऑफ मार्च को हुआ था राइट 21st ऑफ मार्च आई वाज इन चौपटा तुंगनाथ ट्रैकिंग करके उधर से लौटा था चार लोग स्वीडन के थे हमारे साथ जो वहीं मिल गए थे तो वी ऑल बिकम फ्रेंड एंड ऑल ऑफ सडन टीवी पे आया कि this is spreading to only those people who are come to the close contact with foreigners. And we were eating for three days, there is nothing to do, it is a kind of very primitive structure, you are eating like this. And I, four Sweden people and one was a doctor from Kolkata, Kolkata Medical College, a doctor sahab, he is a friend now and six people. And then Jantan Garfi and everything is started. So, I thought that I am infected because obviously when I came back then I kept myself in isolation. That kind of fear it was. But 
now we know that if virus is there on a ground, then it depends upon the situation. Let's say that now winter ka time is, now virus sustain karega kuch saada samay tak. Because you simple socho, khana ka rakh do aap. If you keep food, how the food is going to survive? Food to sard jayega, garmi hogi sard jayega, thandi hogi thora ruk jayega. I mean, food is like protein, carbohydrate, fat. The same thing is virus. If temperature is high, then virus will die within few hours only. Few hours, nahi, 30 minutes. Mein. Temperature is low, the virus is going to sustain. But it's not like 72 hours. Virus is going to degrade, right? Anyway, the next one, second basis, on the basis of genetic material. Genetic material. You know genetic material? What is that? The DNA or RNA genetic material? Genetic material is called blueprint. Abhi tak aap yehi adrap. Blueprint. What I am is because of genetic material that I got. And I got my genetic material like DNA from my father and mother. So my body's blueprint is my genetic material. And in my body, in your body, genetic material is DNA. Right? Everywhere genetic material is what? DNA. But virus is the only group where genetic material can be of two types, right? First one, DNA virus. What is called? DNA virus. So, genetic material is DNA, right? And the second one is RNA virus. Genetic material is RNA. This RNA virus is also known as retrovirus. What we call it? Retrovirus. There is no other name of the DNA virus, but there is a name given to RNA virus that is called retrovirus. Retrovirus is a name, right? I am coming to that. So, first thing you should know that if they ask a question that in human body, which of the following is present? DNA, RNA, protein. All three are present. DNA, RNA, protein, three are present. And all these are going Don't worry about it. But if they ask the same question, I mean same options are there, and they ask that in human being, which of the following is genetic material? Then it's only DNA. We do have RNA, but in our body, RNA is not genetic material. The blueprint is written over DNA. We get the DNA from father and mother. We don't get RNA from there, right? And our blueprint, our information is written onto the DNA. But if they ask the same question, that in biological world, which of the following can be genetic material? So, DNA and RNA. Because retrovirus is a group of biological entity which has got RNA as genetic material. Although it is just only one. Ye ek hi group hai, lekin hai to sahi. So, in the biological world, both RNA and DNA are present as genetic material, blueprint material. Yes, except for retrovirus, everywhere it is what? DNA. Bacteria, fungi, plants, animals, any animal, any insect you come across, the genetic material is DNA. I mean, DNA is the dominant genetic material. It is a prominent one. Why? Because DNA is more stable. The stability of the DNA is more than the RNA. DNA structure is, you know, it is a stable structure. RNA structure is non-stable structure. Because RNA is, uh, you can say like, uh, it's not complex one. It is little simple structure. So, RNA is simple and simple to complex. So, imagine karo pahle kon aya hoga? Simple aya hoga. That is why the retro word has been used. Retro ka matlab kya hota hai? Purana. Retrovirus. I mean, on this earth, the first virus which appeared was RNA virus because RNA is a simple structure. Simple can lead to complex. And then this retrovirus later converted into DNA virus because RNA converted into DNA. But still we have a lot of retrovirus on this earth. RNA viruses are there on the earth. You get my point? So DNA, RNA both are genetic material on this earth, but in human being, it is only DNA. Although we do have RNA and we will talk about that in detail, it is not a problem. We are going to discuss this in that, right? Now, let us talk about example. 
example is interesting. This example DNA virus, pox you know and hepatitis, hepatitis. I mean in the major disease that we come across, major disease, pox and hepatitis are disease which are caused by DNA virus, a small pox, chicken pox, cow pox, all pox and hepatitis. Is ke alawa virus ke jo bhi disease aap jante honge, wo sab kaun hai? RNA, they all are RNA. I will write few name, is ka example likhte hai. Corona, virus, polio virus, mumps, measles, right, dengue, chicken gunia, any kind of flu or influenza that is called viral fever. Zika ka naam suna hoga api. Nipa ka naam suna hoga. These all are RNA virus. I mean it must be giving a sense that okay, sare virus RNA wale hi hai. Hai na? So does RNA virus impact more onto the human being? Yes, it do. What is the reason behind it? Because like I told you that RNA is simple structure. It is not a stable one. So it can easily change. Hai na? Chances of changes are higher in RNA. And any change in virus is known as variant. Naam suna na variant. COVID ka naya variant aagaya. And wherever the new variant will keep on coming, that disease will be a little difficult to manage. You get my point? Simple structure RNA can be changed easily. External factor will change it. That is why we see that COVID has gone through the variety of variant. Aur hum toh variant ke naam jante na, jo variant of concern hota hai. There is a concept variant of concern. WHO usko publish karte hai ki, ye variant of concern, isko publish karo, aware karo logo. There are many variants which we never get to know about it, because it's a variant of, it, it's not a variant of concern, wo concern nahi hamara. Because if there is RNA, let's say if there is RNA piece, and because of this RNA only the virus is virus. And if there is any change in RNA, it can be in two ways. Either it will make the virus weaker. So virus agar weak ho gaya, to it's a good for us, na? Because we don't need to talk, I mean, bother about it. Virus has gone weak. Our immunity is stronger than the virus now. Or the variant can do one thing, any change in RNA and the virus has become stronger. That's a variant of concern. Delta variant. Sabse jada mara logo ko usne. Pahle corona aya. And then corona delta variant became the second wave that created havoc across the world. Because that was a variant. And the problem is that variant was dangerous, stronger. Mortality was high. After that another variant came, Omicron. It was less mortal but high infectious. Infection rate was very high but mortality rate was very low. Biggest, dif biggest difference between the two, I mean Delta and Omicron, Delta variant attacked at the lower part of the respiratory tract. Lungs ka sabse lowest part, jisko alveoli kehate hain, jahan se oxygen diffuse karta hai. Functional part pe usne attack kar diya. Log mar, jai, mar gaye. Omicron ne kaan attack kiya? Upper part pe, tubes pe. Tubes pe kya hoga? Sardi khansi, allergic reaction, cough, fever and you will be fine. Because to deal with the virus, you don't have medicine. None of the viral disease has, in this case, medicine nahi hai. That is why viral diseases are known as self-limiting disease. The body will bounce back if the virus has given you enough time. The problem is if virus is mortal, then it won't give you enough time. Delta variant may be, I mean, we all got infected by the delta variant. Bachana mushkil tha usse. Lekin, bachi gaya. Because the body got a time to produce the medicine. The virus can be dealt by the body mechanism itself. That is called interferon. Body produces a special protein that is called interferon. If the body produces interferon in time, then virus can be eliminated. But if the body is taking time to produce interferon and the virus is doing more attack, so what will happen? The person will collapse. Otherwise, there is no medicine. Injection laga sakte. The injection kya hai? It's a kind of, you know, prepare your body 
before infection occur but if the viral disease is there there is no medicine because mare hue ko kya maroge aap virus is there inside your cell detection of virus is very difficult and the medicine will not work on that you get me why hiv ka koi medicine nahi influenza flu common cold ka aaj tak koi medicine nahi because common cold aapko hota hai influenza hota hai what we do we take paracetamol or any tablet and after 3 4 days we get back to the normal health it means that by in 3 4 days the body produces protein which is there to counter the virus and that's all right so you can write one more point it example likh lena and then you can write yes please RNA, RNA in human being. Uh, those ex those ex examples are uh, uh, which uh, are those which causes ill effect, right? So do This we? Ha yeah, huh. coronavirus, polio, and all. So do we have any study which refers or uh, which shows that contribution of RNA uh, uh, to uh, evol evolve us as a human being? RNA evolved us as a human being. Uh, yeah. RNA do play very important like modification role. of cells and all thing. No, no. हमारे body में आगे आप पढ़ेंगे. हमारे body में simple system है DNA to RNA and RNA to protein. That is called central dogma biology. We'll talk to that. We'll come to the point. Then we'll talk about. So our blueprint is essentially DNA. It's never RNA, but RNA is very very important for us. Extremely important. Yes, for disease and all, we have retroviral therapy, mRNA therapy, mRNA medicine. So we have developed something over RNA. So we'll talk about. Anyway, you can write, Anji. Yes, I mean except for virus. Virus is no cell. So wherever the cell is there. So this line I written DNA to RNA, RNA to protein. That is called central dogma biology. Biology का मतलब समझ रहे हो ना? सब में है. it is bacteria or fungi or plant or animal or insect it is there dna is just a blueprint and blueprint will execute blueprint hone se kuch nahi hota na blue agar is building ka blueprint ho building to banani padegi so dna is blueprint it doesn't do anything it's just a blueprint rna is basically translation of blueprint and protein is a premise that we create right आप ऐसे समझो कि इस बिल्डिंग का जो ब्लूप्रिंट था वो डीएनए था और आज जो ये बिल्डिंग खड़ी है ना ये क्या है प्रोटीन है ये प्रेमाइस है और जिस मजदूर ने इसके ऊपर काम किया आर्किटेक्ट ने इसके ऊपर काम किया वो सारे आ रहे सो ब्लूप्रिंट आर्किटेक्ट एंड देन द बिल्डिंग यू गेट मे पॉइंट द फाइनल प्रोडक्ट इज बिल्डिंग प्रोटीन इज समथिंग विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई टेल यू वन थिंग दैट इन आर बॉडी एवरी थिंग इज मेड अप ऑफ प्रोटीन आप अभी मेलानिन की बात कर रहे थे इट्स अ प्रोटीन दिस हेयर इज कैरेटिन दैट्स प्रोटीन मसल इज एक्टिन मायोसिन दैट्स प्रोटीन बोन इज हैविंग कैल्शियम एंड प्रोटीन दैट इज कोलोसिन इन एनिमल बॉडी ईच एंड एवरीथिंग इज प्रोटीन कभी जिम गए हो आप और वहां जाते के साथ ट्रेनर क्या कहता है प्रोटीन खाओ नहीं तो मसल कैसे बनेगा राइट बिकॉज आर बॉडी इज मेड अप ऑफ प्रोटीन एंड प्रोटीन विल कम फ्रॉम वेयर आर एन ए हु विल मेक प्रोटीन आर एन ए विल मेक प्रोटीन and how rna will make protein because rna will get instruction from dna so dna is blueprint rna is worker and the premise or the final structure that we get is protein a blueprint hai brown eye ka ya black eye ka to black hi eye aayega na blue to nahi aa jayega you get me point so that is how genetics work we'll talk about it yes hmm कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता एंटीबायोटिक इज समथिंग दैट इन वायरल इंफेक्शन इट इट वर्क्स जीरो अगर आप ढंग के डॉक्टर के पास जाओगे ना जो आपके नोन कभी रिलेटिव डॉक्टर के पास जाना डॉक्टर हुई जो रिलेटिव ही विल सिंपली से वन थिंग इन वायरल डिजीज एंटीबायोटिक क्या काम करेगा एंटीबायोटिक का नाम सुनो एंटीबायोटिक बायोटिक वायरस इज नॉन बायोटिक इट्स नॉट लाइफ बट आई टेल यू वाई द डॉक्टर डू इट 
हाँ वो इसलिए होता है क्योंकि वी आर आई एम अटैक्ट बाई वायरस राइट सो इफ आई एम अटैक्ट बाई वायरस एंड द वायरल अटैक इज सीवियर लेट से कॉमन कोल्ड इन्फ्लुएंजा दैट लास्ट इट फॉर टेन डेज तीन चार दिन में हो जाए कोई दिक्कत नहीं इट्स अ कॉमन थिंग बट इट्स मोर देन टेन डेज सो वट विल हैपन ड्यू टू द डिसकम्फर्ट ड्यू टू द फूड हैबिट चेंज आर माई इम्यूनिटी विल गो डाउन सो इम्यूनिटी हैज गॉन डाउन डॉक्टर इज नोइंग दैट ओके टेन डेज लगा हो सकता है ट्वेल्व डेज ठीक हो जाएगा ठीक तो हो ही जाएगा क्योंकि वायरस को तो मार नहीं सकते वो खुद ही जाएगा बट इन इन दैट प्रोसेस टेन डे आई वॉज इन इलनेस सो माई इम्यूनिटी हैज गॉन डाउन सो मे बी ऑन ट्वेल्थ डे आई विल ओवरकम द वायरल इन्फेक्शन बट बिकॉज माई इम्यूनिटी हैज गॉन डाउन तो कोई बैक्टीरिया इन्फेक्ट कर सकता है That is called secondary infection. You get my point? Because your immunity has gone down. So doctor, as a precaution, they tell you that ठीक है आपका तो दस दिन तक fever लगा हुआ है. Your immunity has gone down. So it is quite possible that viral fever will be get corrected by itself, but you can get the another infection because your immunity has gone down. So to revamp the immunity, they give what? Antibiotic. लेकिन पहले दिन से ही देना. ना तो उसका कोई sense नहीं है. It's written into the medical book also that antibiotic doesn't work against virus. The body will produce interferon, and that interferon will work against virus that will be produced by the body itself. है ना? तो prescribed medicines वो दे देते हैं. Medicines तो वो फिर उसके लिए भी चलते हैं ना क्या बोलते हैं उसको? हाँ मतलब ऐसे ही कुछ खाने के लिए होना चाहिए ना? हाँ. That is the term. सर हाँ प्लेसिबो इफेक्ट प्लेसिबो इफेक्ट के लिए सर हाँ जी यस प्लीज सर अगर पॉक्स वायरस है सर तो सर इसका वो नहीं है क्योर नहीं है क्योंकि सर मैंने के बोलते हैं सर इसमें किसी का क्योर नहीं है वही सर अगर सर इसके डी मेरे पापा के डीएनए से जैसे मुझे पॉक्स है सर तो मेरे पापा के डीएनए से उसका बन सकता है सर क्योर इसका सर क्योर कैसे बनेगा सर आपको पॉक्स हो गया सर मेरे पापा को पॉक्स हुआ है पहले हाँ तो सर इस मेरे पापा के डीएनए से बन सकता है सर आपके डीएनए से पॉक्स का हाँ। नहीं कोविड के टाइम में एक थेरेपी चला था जिसका नाम था प्लाज्मा थेरेपी यू गेट मे पॉइंट सो यू गॉट इन्फेक्टेड बाई पॉक्स एंड आपको चिकन पॉक्स हुआ होगा चिकन पॉक्स से हम रिकवर कर जाते हैं कैसे कर जाते हैं बिकॉज वी गॉट इन्फेक्टेड बाई चिकन पॉक्स देन बॉडी स्टार्टेड वर्किंग अगेंस्ट इट so you developed interferon and antibody so in your body in your blood now there is antibody so what i can do maximum that i can take the blood from you i can separate the plasma and when i separate the plasma the antibody is there in plasma itself and that plasma i can take in my body so your antibody in my system an antibody is produced by you right so once i produce antibody then that disease will not affect anymore That is why in entire lifetime chicken pox एक ही बार होगा जिसको हो चुका उसको दोबारा नहीं होगा और जिसको नहीं हुआ उसको होगा बिकॉज वंस इट हैपन बॉडी हैज प्रोड्यूस एंटीबॉडी सो डीएनए से तो कुछ नहीं कर सकते एंटीबॉडी आई कैन एक्वायर बाई प्लाज्मा थेरेपी दैट इज वट इज वॉट डन इन कोविड कि बिकॉज कोविड में क्या आप याद करो कोविड में क्या था कि एनी बॉडी हु गॉट इन्फेक्टेड बाई कोविड इन लास्ट अराउंड सिक्सटी डेज They were invited. Yeah, up, out, blood donate. Karo. Then we'll separate the plasma out of the blood. Blood cell, back. We'll put it. Only plasma will be taken out. And in plasma, there will be antibody against COVID, and that will be injected in the person who is already going through the COVID infection. Hai na? Chale aage. Haan ji. That will come to that. Why? Ga, dhir dhir. Take it. Karke. You are right, sir. Excuse me, sir. हेलो एस के सर यस प्लीज सर हाँ जी सर डच वायरस हेल्प वायरस टू क्रिएट एन अदर वायरस डच वायरस हेल्प वायरस टू क्रिएट डिफरेंट वायरस वायरस टू वायरसेस टू वायरसेस कंबाइनिंग क्रिएटिंग एन अदर वायरस देर इज अ प्रोसेस कॉल कंजुगेशन दैट विल हैपन ओनली इन अ लिविंग सेल इफ टू वायरसेस आर देर इन अ लिविंग सेल दे कैन इन्फ्लुएंस इच अदर इन इन केस वी कैन से देर इज अ सेल स्ट्रक्चर सेल स्ट्रक्चर इज नीडेड फॉर एनी एक्शन ऑफ द वायरस वायरस कैन डू एनीथिंग ओनली वेन दे आर इन सेल स्ट्रक्चर बाहर में तो कुछ है ही नहीं ना वो तो नॉन लिविंग है मींस वायरस हैज सेल स्ट्रक्चर 
वायरस हैज सेल स्ट्रक्चर नो नो वायरस डोंट हैव सेल स्ट्रक्चर ना बताया तो वायरस विल गेट इनटू द सेल देन ओनली इट कैन डू एनीथिंग वायरस एक्वायर सेल आर सेल इज एक्वायर्ड बाय वायरस चलो ठीक है दिस इज द फर्स्ट डे वी कैन हैव द ओपन कन्वर्सेशन बट कल से फिर आई विल गो इन माय वे राइट बिकॉज दैट इज व्हाट इट नीडेड ना अदरवाइज तो फिर तो डायरेक्शनलेस हो जाएगा ना That will be a kind of you know. Then the query. उसके लिए अलग से session रख लेंगे. Don't worry. Sunday को आ जाना. I'll be free. है ना? Anyway, ठीक है. I'm. The thing is that I'm happy that you are asking. It means that okay, science can be managed, right? The thing is that science is not that science that we need to get into that. इट्स अ जर्नलिस्टिक थिंग वट एवर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इट वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन इट अभी देखो जितनी भी बातें मैंने बताई सब कोविड के टाइम भी सुन रखा है आपने नथिंग आई टॉक्ड अबाउट विच इज वेरी साइंटिफिक इन नेचर कि उसके लिए हमें कुछ अलग से कुछ समझना पड़े इट्स ऑल सेम यू कैन आइट आर एन ए वॉज द फर्स्ट जेनेटिक मेटीरियल आर एन ए वॉज द फर्स्ट जेनेटिक मेटीरियल अपियर्ड आर एन ए वॉज द फर्स्ट जेनेटिक मेटीरियल appeared on the earth next sugar right rna is less stable less stable and dna is more stable and dna is more stable that is why dna is present as dna is present as genetic material of all other organism on the earth all other organism on the earth except for retrovirus except for retrovirus so retrovirus is only thing where rna genetic material rest everywhere it is what dna but i tell you one thing that in our body we have rna and dna both in any kind of cell we have rna and dna both and that you have to remember the thing that it's always like dna we'll talk about dna in detail dna to rna and rna is making protein so dna is our blueprint it's a blueprint rna is a kind of you know worker the work upper the blueprint and then the protein is the material material that we make that is a product you can call it product or <clears throat> rna is RNA. virus can convert its rna into dna right that is called reverse transcription we'll call talk about that abhi nahi थोड़ा रुक जाओ सो डीएनए टू आरएनए आरएनए टू प्रोटीन डीएनए इज ब्लू प्रिंट आर एन एज वर्कर्स एंड द फाइनल प्रोडक्ट विच कम्स इज प्रोटीन इन आर बॉडी प्रोटीन इज एवरीथिंग प्रोटीन हैज गॉट टू फंक्शन ऑल स्ट्रक्चर एंड ऑल फंक्शन यू नो इवन ऑल फंक्शन आर कंट्रोल्ड बाई वॉट प्रोटीन एंजाइम सुना है ना आपने इन बायोलॉजी देर इज अ फ्रेज कॉल ऑल एंजाइम सर प्रोटीन कहते हैं ना पढ़ा होगा कहीं ना कहीं ऑल एंजाइम सर प्रोटीन एंड नथिंग कैन हैपन इन बॉडी विदाउट एंजाइम हम ब्रीथ भी कर रहे हैं ना और उसमें ऑक्सीजन हिमोग्लोबिन के साथ मिल रहा है ना वो भी एंजाइम एंजाइम का दूसरा नाम है बायो कैटलिस्ट कैन यू इमेजिन अ केमिकल रिएक्शन विदाउट कैटलिस्ट चाहिए होता है सिमिलरली इन आर बॉडी केमिकल रिएक्शन आर गोइंग ऑन एंड फॉर दैट केमिकल रिएक्शन वी नीड अ कैटलिस्ट सो दैट कैटलिस्ट इज प्रोड्यूस्ड बाई द बॉडी इट सेल्फ एंड दैट कैटलिस्ट इज कॉल्ड बायो कैटलिस्ट एंड दिस बायो कैटलिस्ट इज नोन एज एंजाइम and essentially all enzyme in our body is protein that means all the functions which are going on in our body is under control of the protein 
and all the structure that we have created in our body from muscles to hair to skin and everything that is also protein. That is why this blueprint is responsible for everything that we have. Our body is functioning in a proper way that is because of the blueprint. It is not functioning in a proper way. I got a genetic, genetic disease because there is a fault in blueprint. The structure is like that because that a structure is written onto the blueprint. And from where we get the blueprint? Parents. So half of the blueprint came from father, half of the blueprint came from mother. That is why our structure somehow it, I mean sometime it is there with the mother, sometime with father, sometime mixture of both, sometime unique things will come up because combination will create something unique, right? And that is how the entire biology work. This is called central dogma of biology. Central dogma biology, right? So, we just talked about one basic thing, and that basic thing is characteristic of living, understanding the characteristic of living, connecting link between living and non living, and understanding what is virus, what is the peculiar thing about the virus, right? So, when we meet tomorrow, then tomorrow we are going to have our first class. In the first, because we have to start biotechnology, right? But for biotechnology, we have to talk about cell. So, first class tomorrow, we are going to discuss about cell, DNA in detail, RNA in detail, protein in detail. So, this particular central dogma we are going to understand in tomorrow's class.